Okay. If you can punch me in the face, I promise I'll take you to that amusement park you're always going on about. Really? You mean it? Here I come! Now let's just see what you can do! He may be a Super Saiyan, but he's still a child. No way in hell I'm letting myself get hit. Take this! That's enough for today. That was amazing, Dad! You've got to be the strongest guy in the whole world! <laughs> Naturally, even through my greatest hardships, I've never let up on my training for a single moment. Yeah! I can't wait to watch you dominate at the World Martial Arts Tournament. But... I still wanted to go to the amusement park. D dry your tears! I'll take you to the park, okay? Aw, oh, yeah! But you're going to keep on assisting in my training, while maintaining your Super Saiyan form, of course. Oh man! And I was gonna hang with Goten later. This sucks. But he's using the evil in your heart to control you. Clear your mind. Remove all thoughts from your head. Sh shut your mouth. You, you know nothing. Yes, yes. Now you belong to me. <laughs> now that you're under my control, I shall push your power past its limits. Yeah! place where there's no one else around I'll give Vegeta the fight he wants but not here let's go it'll be over soon enough when I kill you You know, it's pretty amazing. While I've been in Otherworld, I've done nothing but train. And yet here we are now. You and I are evenly matched. What does it matter? Your inborn talents have still placed you out of my reach. Even after all these years, that remains the same. I wanted to go back to the cold-blooded saying I'd been in the beginning. 
The one who didn't care about anything but besting you in one-on-one -on -one combat! But surrendering to Babidi's magic was a price I was willing to pay if it meant I could be my old self again. And as a result, I've never felt better. That isn't true, and you know it, Vegeta. Wait! Do you feel that? That that huge energy? Majin Buu. He must have finally been revived. So, is that pink blob with the cape, Margin Boo? Well then, you're going to pay for what you did to Kakarot's son! It just means you're big and ugly. That made Boo angry! So Boo made you dead! I'm not going to hell alone. I'm taking you along for the ride! You 
sets. Trunks, listen. Take good care of your mother. What do you mean by that, Dad? Why are you telling me to take care of Mom? You know, from the time you were a little baby, I've never once hugged you, because I always wanted to make you a tougher man. Huh? Come here, son. Wait, Dad? Hey, cut it out! You're embarrassing me! Take care, Trunks. All right? <sighs> well, I finally figured out how to deal with you. Just in time. Goodbye to you all, Bulma, Trunks, and yes, even you, Kakarot. When we fought, you hid the true depths of your power, letting me believe we were equals. Now I saw it all from Otherworld, Kakarot. You let me win, so you could keep the secret of Super Saiyan 3 to yourself. Dad, then maybe this will convince you. Boo has absorbed every person we've ever cared about. Krillin and Chi-Chi too, even Bulma. Piccolo, my sons. Gohan and Goten, and your son, Trunks! They're all trapped in Majin Buu!
Right. What do you say we get this thing started and see just what everyone can do? Good. Who's up first? I'll fight you for it. Rock, paper, scissors! to hit him with everything I've got. Because if we lose this one, then the whole universe is history. I want to see this Super Saiyan 3 of yours with my own eyes. <laughs> Our final battle has begun. With the fate of the entire universe riding on the outcome. Your strength. It's truly amazing, Kakarot. You've always been like this, ever since the day I first met you. You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you were. You never fight to kill, or even to win! Only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be! How can a Saiyan fight with such power, and at the same time be so gentle? Perhaps it's my anger that made me blind to the truth for so long. Hang in there, Kakarot. You are number one. Stay alive, Vegeta. Thanks, but I'm already dead. Impudent scum! Eat this! Yeah! 
Too slow, Kakarot! While you were lagging behind, I practically killed him already! But Boo's definitely still alive, trust me. We'd better finish him off while we've still got the chance. Well, I'm not letting you take all the glory, so we'll defeat him together! Ha! That's the end of Majin Boo. And now, the time has come for you to face me, Kakarot! Impudent scum!
plan is underway. It's time for you to create a spirit bomb. Wait, so your big plan is you want me to make a spirit bomb? But even if we had enough time to gather the energy for it, it might not be enough to beat Boo! No, the Earthlings will save themselves for once by contributing every ounce of spirit energy they have. Supreme Kai, I need to make an announcement that every person on Earth will hear. Can you make that happen? Don't worry, I'll do it. It's kind of my question. Okay, guys, it's all set. And you can speak not to just Earthlings, but the whole universe if you want. That's more like it. Citizens of planet Earth, can you hear me? Please listen closely. As I speak, a great warrior is fighting Majin Buu on behalf of all Earthlings. But despite his bravery, the odds are against him. We need your help. Raise your hands in the air and offer your spirit energy to help us defeat Buu once and for all. Hey, hardly anyone from outside our circle of friends is giving us their energy. This isn't good. Fat Majin Boo is about to die! Kakarot! I'll do what I can to buy you a little more time! Over here, Majin Boo! Blow his evil peak behind the way already! Nice work, Mr. Satan! Go to hell! <laughs> Damn it all! Goku, we used Purunga's third wish to heal you! You should be able to power up! Thank you, Dragon Balls! Later. Vegeta would be such a gifted speaker. Oh, that's my husband for you. 